I'm teacher Wanning from Think Academy and I will be teaching the P2 online courses for intermediate and advanced math programs. So I hope everyone have enjoyed our school holiday revision champion challenge. I know there are some really tricky questions in the challenge this round and I'll be sharing with everyone how to do three of these questions. Let's begin. Alright, so for this question, it's saying that Doris has 18 apples in total. If she shares the apples equally with five of her friends, how many apples will each person get? Okay, so the key point of this question is to figure out how many people are sharing the apples, right? So can we see here the key word here is share. That means Doris is not giving away all her apples, but rather she is sharing the apples. So it means that she herself still keeps some of the apples. Okay, so this is a key point. All right, so let's see. If so, how many people are there all together? So of course we have Doris, right? And how many friends does Doris have? Doris has five friends, right? Okay, so we draw five friends. And we know that she wants to make sure that every single person has the equal number of apples. So including Doris, we can see that there are a total of six people who will be sharing the apples, right? So if there's a total of 18 apples, and we know that there are six people, so 18 divided by six, and that will give us how many apples each person will get, which is three. Okay, so for this question, it says, study the number pattern below. What is the missing number? Hmm, okay, so this tells us that this is a number pattern question, right? And for number pattern questions, the most important rule that we need to remember is that the pattern must remain the same for all the circles, okay? So the pattern that we find in our first circle must also be the same for our second circle and for our third circle as well as our last circle. Okay, so usually for these kind of questions, we can start by looking at the numbers in our rows, okay? So we always start with our rows, all right? And if we can't find a pattern in our rows, then we can move on to look at the numbers in the columns. And also another common pattern in this kind of question is that the number in our first row will be the same as the number in our second row, okay? So we can use plus, minus, times, and divide to play around with the numbers and try to find a common result from between the first and second row, okay? So let's give this a try. All right, so let's look at our first row, okay? We can take, hmm, why don't we try two plus three, okay? So two plus three will give us five, right? And can we make five with the two numbers in the second row? We can, right? We just take six minus one and we get five. So, okay, look here, in our two rows, we have the same result. So, this could possibly be a pattern, right? Let's test this pattern out on our next circle, okay? So, in our next circle, again, for our first row, we follow and we plus. So, 4 plus 3 will give us 7. And then we minus again, minus in this direction. 13 minus 6 also gives us 7. Hey, so again, we see that the result for our first row of numbers and the result for our second row of numbers is the same. Okay, now let's again test this pattern out in our third circle. Again, here we plus and here we minus, right? So 10 plus 2 will give us 12 and 15 minus 3 also gives us 12. Right, so that tells us for our last circle, we can use this exact same pattern whereby we plus our top row. So 8 plus 5 will give us 13 and we minus our bottom row in this direction, meaning that our question mark minus 2 will give us a, our answer of 13. So that tells us that question mark must equal to 15. So, the answer to this question is 15. Ok, 
Okay, so for this question, it's saying that before playing a game, the children lined up in one straight line. Annie was the fifth from the left and she was also the fifth from the right. How many children are there in the line? So today, I'm going to teach everyone a very simple method of how to solve these kind of questions. So let's see, if we follow this process step by step, there is no way that any one of you can get this kind of question wrong again. All right. Okay, so firstly, it tells us that Annie, she is fifth counting from the left and from the right. So why don't we label in left and right? Okay, and after we have left and right, of course, we need to draw Annie, right? Okay, so let's pretend this star here is Annie. And I'm going to label in A to remind us that, okay, this is Annie. And, hmm, they tell us that from the left, Annie is fifth. So that means let's draw a couple of circles to represent the other children. So how many people are there from the left to any? There are a total of five people, right? So that means starting from the first child all the way to any, right? There are a total number of five children, including any, right? Ah, and then why don't we look from the right? And then counting from the right to the left, any is also fifth. That means, again, from the child who is furthest to the right all the way to Annie, we have a total of five children. So guys, can you see for this part, hey, the lines overlap. So that tells us that if we just take five plus five, right, Annie will be counted two times, correct or not? Ah. So if, and if we want to avoid counting any twice, we need to remember to minus one. So when we minus one, we erase away this part of our line and that helps us to find the total number of people in the line, which is five plus five, which is 10 minus one and that gives us nine. So the answer to this question is nine. If you are watching this video, Please visit www.techacademy.sg to check out some of the online courses that I and my fellow math master teachers teach. Hope to see you soon!